I am going to try my hand at an election prediction. Um, I'm going to do it on transits alone, just based on what the sky looks like today. So I'm not going to be looking at anybody's natal chart. I'm not going to be looking at the chart of the United States or the DNC or no shit like that. Like, I'm just going to be looking at what the sky looks like today and make some sort of like, I, I talk a little bit about that. Um, it's, I don't know, seems like it might be fun. I did, and it's like low stakes, I don't really, it's whatever, you know. Um, I did correctly predict a Trump victory in 2016, that was before I had a public platform, and that was before I was using astrology, I was just like looking at, I was, that was all vibes. <laughs> but uh, this time, let's see about it. So. Um, today we have the moon in Capricorn. So the moon in Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Um, a lot of times the way that I think about Capricorn as a sign is, um, so it, Saturn has two signs and um, Saturn rules Capricorn and Aquarius. And so if Saturn can be thought of as the boundary or the wall, then Capricorn is what is on the inside of the wall. And so um, it's the thing that is protected. Usually there's some kind of like tradition associated with Capricorn. There's a kind of inherent conservatism to uh, Capricorn, to the way that Capricorn operates. And so it's like, you, can, you know, you can think of conservation, like the idea of like you build a wall so that um, threats from the exterior can't get in and fuck up whatever's uh, going on on the inside. That's like what skin is, for example, this kind of thing, right? Like it's a barrier to uh, the dangers of the outside because the outside um, gets kind of uh, weird and there's, there's stuff going on out there that you want to protect stuff, your interior stuff, your like uh, in, internal organs and stuff like that. You want to protect that stuff. So Capricorn is that, uh, is that interior space and so there's an inherent conservatism to that. We can notice that the moon in Capricorn is ruled by uh, Saturn. And so Saturn is in Pisces, getting a trine from the sun. This is interesting. Um, I think that the, so this is, so the sun could be thought of as like the king or the emperor, the sovereign um, or the president. Um, but then also the sun could be thought of as like famous faces, celebrity, and this kind of thing, right? Um, and then the uh, and then Saturn is often thought of as like not just uh, boundaries, but also structures or um, sort of like bureaucracy or um, you know like the 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 manager situation, the thing that is actually like making stuff happen uh, for the king. And so the to see those working together. Uh, especially uh, with Saturn ruling the moon. And so the moon is going to be like <clears throat> whatever's happening today. That's why we'll, uh, I always start uh, my daily forecast with like, today we got the moon in blank, right? Because m the moon's position has everything to do with what happens today. And so what happens today is getting support from the sun, from the celebrity sort of uh, situation and enterprise. Um, so this to me looks like a Trump victory. I think Trump wins the day. Um, this is also, you know, we can think about, so the moon being in Capricorn in that like inherently conservative place, right? And Trump is the more conservative of the two candidates. But then also the moon in Capricorn is co-present alongside Pluto. <coughs> Pluto is in Capricorn. Pluto's been in Capricorn since 2008. And so we are moving toward Pluto in Aquarius. Um, that's, that's coming, that's like in three weeks or something like this, Pluto's going to be in Aquarius and, and going to be there for good, right? But currently, today, so looking at today's transits, Pluto's still in Capricorn. The moon is co-present in Capricorn there with Pluto. And so what we're looking at is power moves and a power grab that'll be like a land grab or something like that. And then, um, and it looks like the old order, the, the traditional thing, the like old way of doing things. Uh, Harris has uh, frequently referred to herself as an underdog, which is an interesting way to refer to oneself when you're in the incumbent position, right? Like she's already the vice president of the United States. And so the idea that she would be the underdog is an interesting play, but that is, that has been the play the whole time, right? And we could look at the uh, identity politics of the situation, right? Like there's never been a woman president before, never been a black woman president before, this kind of thing, right? So like, um, so, if that would represent a new kind of order or a new way of being 
governed or something like this, then uh, we could consider the old way of being governed by a white dude as uh, the more conservative play and this kind of thing. So I think that the moon is, um, the moon in Capricorn represents a Trump victory today. Um, given that, given the moon in Capricorn and the trine between Saturn and the sun. Um, what else is worth noting here is that we've got both Mars in Leo. So uh, Mars in Leo, like, I don't know, feels Trumpy to me, right? Like it's, it's very brash, it's very brazen, it's very like outside in the world, like you gonna notice me, right? <clears throat> so there's that. And uh, we've also got Mercury in Sagittarius. And so what's interesting here is that both of those planets are headed for retrograde pretty soon. And so this idea that um, whatever happens today doesn't necessarily take, doesn't necessarily um, like this, like today is not the end of what we see going on here. There's gonna be a Mercury retrograde, there's gonna be a Mars retrograde, we're gonna turn around and look at all this stuff another time and see what really happens here. So the today's power grab might, you know, like, and I predicted on the plant cutting podcast that two things, one, that whoever wins today uh, is, will have stolen the election, I stand by that, and uh, that whoever loses today it's going to be like, nah, uh and it's going to con contest it. This, uh, I super stand by these things. Like this, we're going into this Mercury retrograde in Sagittarius. It's going to be super loud. It's going to be like, um, you know, and that uh, Mercury is coming up on a square with that Saturn in Pisces. So uh, Mercury square Saturn is big, like tell them no or, uh, you know, deny, negate, you know, say the, say no out loud. That's like Mercury square Saturn. And so, and Mercury in Sagittarius is very chatty, got a lot to say. So there's a bunch of that going on here. So um, that, at the same time that we see that the moon in Capricorn isn't really making any aspects to that. So that is almost a void moon. What I often say about void moons is that like, uh, whatever goes on today is kind of inconsequential. It doesn't take really or something like this, right? So the idea here is that I think Trump wins the day but this is not the end of the election, even though we wish it would finally end. Today is not the end. There's gonna be a bunch more going on here. Um, and uh, we will see if a Trump victory actually sticks. But I think by the end of the day, or by the end of the, the count, then it will be a Trump victory.